three domain classification system we we have studied that there are, we can divide or classify the organisms into three domains domain archae protist and eukarya so uh, we say that uh, those organisms which are classified in uh, this domain uh, protista they are closer to uh, the bacteria which are present in domain archae lekin uh, jab molecular biology was really advanced or genomes of uh, uh, protist and archaean uh, cells that was uh, uh, identified and there was uh, sequences of dna aur ye pehli dafa jab 1996 mein isko compare kiya gaya then the molecular biologists they identified that uh, the dna of protist and archaean cell they are very much dissimilar from each other aur ye itna hi dissimilar hai jitna ki ek protista और प्रोटिस्ट सेल का डीएनए यूकेरियोटिक सेल से डिफरेंट है सो इन दैट केस वी वी कैन कंक्लूड दैट थ्री डोमेन सिस्टम इज वेरी मच ऑथेंटिक बिकॉज आर्की बैक्टीरिया प्रोटिस्ट एंड यूकेरियोटिक सेल्स दे आर वेरी मच डिसिमिलर फ्रॉम ईच अदर इन देयर प्रेजेंट फॉर्म बट स्टिल देर इज कॉन्सेप्ट विच इज प्रेजेंटेड बाय टेक्सोनोमिस्ट एंड क्लाइडिस्टिक Uh, that these three domains uh, probably they can be monophyletic which means that it is possibility that all these uh, organisms um, in these three domains they have evolved from a same ancestor or um, and that common ancestry is giving them a monophyletic relationship for example in this picture or in this image we can see that there could be a common ancestor and this from this common ancestor there is possibility that um, a group was evolved which developed into a domain bacteria and then archae and then eukaryotes so similarly in this image again we have a common ancestor and this common ancestor is uh, giving three branches or three different groups bacteria and then the archae and then the eukaryotes so we can uh, further classify this domain bacteria into different classes archae can be divided into other classes and uh, similarly eukarya can be divided into different classes but although they are very much different they have uh, further classes they have a lot of diversity in within themselves but still there is a concept that they have evolved from a common ancestral organism or a cell so although we say ke protist jo hai ye unicellular organisms hain uh, even then they are unicellular but they are not simple wo sare uh, cell organelles which have been found in a eukaryotic cell they are also present in a protist cell and they are doing the same functions uh, but even there are certain uh, protist cells which are more complex as compared to the cells present in certain tissue of um, a multicellular organism so uh, just by seeing that they are single celled structures so ye bahut simple hai inka inke body functions inki homeostasis inki living uh, that is something very simple it's not simple they are doing the same effort they are uh, investing the same energy as a eukaryotic cell is investing some uh, protozoans or um, the protist organelles even they uh, reflect a certain specialization uh, for a unicellular lifestyle uh, for example um, we can say that pili is the one structure which is highly specialized in uh, the protist cell and these pili are uh, very much specific for domain uh, protist and they are absent in other domains so because they are uh, so complex तो क्लासिफिकेशन सिस्टम्स में हम डोमेन प्रोटिस्टा को फर्दर सेवन फाइलम में क्लासिफाई कर सकते हैं एंड दीज सेवन फाइला आर सार्कोमा स्टिगोफोरा लेबरिंथोमोर्फा एपिको कम्प्लेक्सा माइक्रोस्पोरा एसिटोस्पोरा मिग्जोजुआ सिली फोरा एंड ऑल दीज सेवन फाइला दे वुड बी फर्दर डिस्कस्ड वन बाय वन